Hello, welcome. Press play when you're ready to solve this together. So right here we use a classic Pythagorean um, identity in trigonometry. It says the sine squared of theta plus the cosine squared of theta is 1. Right? And this amazing identity helps us use an algebraic uh, approach to solve this problem. They're telling us that the sine of theta is negative radical 2 over 5. So what are the possible values of the cosine of theta? So, so here in this, in this, if we plug this in, essentially we're using the Pythagorean theorem. right? In other words, the sine of theta is radical 2 over 5. So if we're using this Pythagorean theorem, essentially, we square that. And we're going to get some cosine value. Let's use x for cosine, because cosine is usually paired with the x value in a unit circle. Equals the hypotenuse squared, which in this case is 1 squared. And we're solving for x, which is going to represent our cosine. <coughs> so if we square radical 2 over 5, what do we get? Negative radical, radical 2 over 5. Well, if we square a negative, we get a positive. If we square radical 2, that's just radical 2 squared. That's 2. Over 5 squared is 25, plus x squared equals, of course, 1. Then I'm going to subtract 2 over 25 on both sides. So we get 1, which is really, I'll write that as, we'll write x squared equals 25 over 25, that's 1, minus 2 over 25, which is 23 over 25. And that's x squared, but I want to know what x equals. So x is going to equal the square root of 23 over 25, right? positive or negative. And here, um, the square root of 23 can't be broken down. So right, positive or negative, square root of 23. But the square root of 25 is just 5. OK, so now if we look at our choices, right? Uh, in this case right here, it tells me the sine is negative. So the quadrants that we're dealing with, in the first quadrant, all of them are positive. Then sine is positive. Then tangent is positive, And cosine is positive here. If sine is negative, we're either in the third quadrant or the fourth quadrant. Uh, but we don't have enough information, I suppose, to figure out which one it is. In the fourth quadrant, cosine could be positive, will be positive. But in the third quadrant, cosine would be negative. So really, it could be plus or minus square root of 23 over, over 5. But here, they're only giving us one choice, and that's the positive square root, which is a fair choice here. All right, I hope this helped.